Okay, so even though this is an is it a function question, I would actually use the calculator. So the last slide we didn't use the calculator, but this slide let's use it, okay? Remember the way that we can tell if something is a function, pardon me, is we wanna make sure that the x values, there's no duplicates. We also wanna make sure it can pass the vertical line test. So some of these you can do it like in your head and you're like, dude, totally easy. Like here, here we have the number five, six, seven, and eight. Because five, six, seven, and eight are all different numbers, these make up the domain, then yes, that's a function, okay? If we look at letter B, if I keep drawing lines, every time I draw an up and down line, okay, I only, even though here, if I really zoomed in, it would pass the vertical line test. So because of that, it is a function, yeah. It's technically probably an exponential function, but it's a function. Now, right away, you're probably like, Doc, I already know it's letter D. It's so obvious. D is not a function because if you draw a line just like this, we looked at two examples on the other slide, two values, it's a confused three. A three doesn't know if it's going to the dance with number two or going to the dance with number negative two. So this is not a function because it's confused. The, the X value doesn't know where it's going. It doesn't pass the vertical line test. But let's pretend this is a question where there's multiple answers. So how do you decide if this is a function? You use the graphing calculator. Okay, now, also for this first one, if you wanted to, like if you forgot, a, if you only remembered vertical line test and you didn't remember to check the X values, the other thing that you could have done is you could have typed these numbers in to here and now we can tell that there's no line that has two red dots on it going up and down. So you could have checked it that way. That would have been totally fine. Um, but let's check letter C. All we do is y equals 3x. Now there's two ways that you can do squared. I like to use my keyboard shortcuts. So I do shift and the number six and that lets me put in the two. But let's say you're a person who doesn't like to do keyboard shortcuts. That's what this little keyboardy thing on the bottom is. And what you're gonna do instead is see how this says A2? That two means that's where you're gonna put in the squared, like that. And if we do, it passes the vertical line test. There's no curvy, wurvy things. Every time, if I keep zooming in, there's no possible way that I would double up like I would on letter D. So that's why the answer is letter D, because I use my graphing calculator to type in what I didn't know and from that, I could look at the vertical line test and it worked out. Done.